Sarawak is the largest state in Malaysia, spanning over 12.4 million hectares, the size of Peninsula Malaysia. With a population of almost 3 million people, 45% live in rural villages, while 55% are concentrated in urban centres, such as Kuching, Miri, Cebu and Bintulu. More than 1 million people of Sarawak's population live in rural areas, in small bazaars, kampongs and longhouses, dispersed sparsely across a mountainous interior, winding rivers and remote coastal areas. The Sarawak government wants the state to achieve a high income economy and fully developed status by 2030 so everyone can enjoy a high standard whether they live in cities, towns or villages. As part of this, the state government targets to ensure that all parts of Sarawak have access to electricity to power growth and development by 2025. Today, 95% of people in Sarawak have steady 24-hour electricity supply. In cities, infrastructure is well developed. Most people have access to basic utilities and electrification is 100%. But for our rural communities, 90% of people in Sarawak have steady electricity supply. While this is a big increase from 2009, when only 56% of people in rural Sarawak had electricity supply, under the Rural Electrification Master Plan, a strategy was formulated in 2015 to electrify the remaining villages and households who still do not have steady electricity supply. There are four strategies under our Rural Electrification Master Plan. Extending the distribution grid under the Rural Electrification System, or RES. Extending the transmission grid further into the interior under the Rural Power Supply Scheme, or RPSS. As well as electrifying the most inaccessible interior areas through standalone renewable hybrid systems for relatively larger remote villages and finally standalone renewable solar or micro hydro system under SARAS. The Sarawak Alternative Rural Electrification Scheme or SARAS is a 500 million ringgit project by the state government. Through SARAS, over 40,000 people in remote rural areas enjoy 24-hour electricity for lighting, fans, televisions, refrigeration, as well as electrical and telecommunication appliances. With SARAS, remote rural communities use solar and micro-hydro generation and no longer have to use generators which are expensive and noisy with limited hours of supply. SARAS is a partnership between the government and remote rural communities. Local communities are trained in the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance to ensure success. From 2016 to 2020, 8,700 households in over 300 isolated villages will benefit from the SARAS initiative. By the end of 2018, 90 villages will be powered up under Saris, with another 210 villages by 2020. Sarawak has adequate and affordable energy to power our residential, commercial and industrial activities. Employment opportunities are created for the young in the energy generation and supply sector. More job opportunities are created with an increase in business and industrial activities. However, many young people have to move into town. As we improve Sarawak's electricity system, we open up opportunities to develop other infrastructure, such as the access roads and bridges between major towns and HEPs. Improved infrastructure in rural areas enables local communities to have better access to health, education, communications services, commerce and industry thus uplifting the overall standard of living. With support from the community, plans can be realized. No one should have to live in the dark.